Okay, so we are in the last two days of the course. Uh, today we are going to publish uh, uh, the last uh, lectures about uh, React Hooks, uh, and then the, the program of the course is finished. Uh, you already have the assignment for the lab uh, of this week, which is the continuation of the last lab. I, we wanted to do something which, which was more um, um, comprehensive so that uh, it could spend more time and not just be specific point uh, point exercises so that's why the last lab was uh, two weeks uh, long and it also gives you some time to um, to remember uh, to, to say recover from maybe uh, other topics that you have may, may have lost in the past several students told me that we, they are behind in following some lectures or in uh, in uh, um, implementing some labs uh, that's why we, in the last two weeks uh, we, we've been trying to be uh, less demanding in terms of new topics and so on just give you time for preparing and uh, you know what happens next week next week on the Tuesday I guess Yes, the 9th of, of June, we are going to uh, publish uh, the text of the exam that uh, you will have to submit uh, before the 29th. So in the day of the 28th uh, at, uh, at, at most. Uh, and so from the 9th to the 28th, you have uh, 20 full days uh, to, to submit uh, your code and your project. Uh, on the next uh, Friday, and the 12th, 12th of June, uh, we have a discussion uh, about the, the text of the exam. So any questions, anything that is not clear from the exam, any possible, uh, say, misunderstanding or ambiguity in the text or whatever, uh, we should try to, to discuss them. And so that at the end uh, of the of the video chat on next Friday will be Friday or not not Thursday to give you one day more to study and to start start to think about the exam. Okay, on the Friday morning, morning during the lab hours, so we'll have this discussion, and at the end we'll publish one list of uh, of uh, frequently asked questions about the exam. It may we might also do some slight correction in the in the, in the text if we find some, but especially. We, we, we will uh, post the, the official answers, let's say, to the, to the possible uh, questions in the text. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> list of questions will be shared with the other course in Italian so that we are perfectly aligned also in the requirements for the exam. Okay, so uh, from some, some questions maybe we can already give a, a live reply and some of the questions maybe we need to wait a couple of hours so that the teachers can, uh, can discuss and, uh, and decide and agree uh, what uh, reply to give uh, that will be the, the official one for both courses. Um, so right now the, the, the main focus is still uh, it's uh, it's already you know thinking about uh, the, the the exam text and the exam rules. Uh, the rules should be <clears throat> quite easy uh, because you are working on your own on the on the text. Uh, you will have just to submit it on, on GitHub before the deadline. Um, and after the deadline, we'll set, uh, we'll publish some um, scores about the project values, and uh, uh, we'll set the dates uh, for the, the discussion, for the presentation of the project. So, so uh, and we'll set a, um, a, a calendar, uh, a schedule with uh, uh, roughly 20 minutes each uh, for for discussing, uh, or 20, 30 minutes depends. Uh, uh, for discussing the, the, the various projects, okay? Uh, you can, as the, as the exam rules say, you can decide not to take the oral examination. So if you are not satisfied with the score of the, of the project and you know that the maximum amount of points you can get in the discussion is uh, uh, is known, so you can do your your math and decide whether it's worth or not to come to the discussion. Okay. Uh, the, the general idea about the discussion is that if you are aware and uh, know what the uh, what you have done in your project, uh, it should be easy. You, know, should, you don't have to study you know, for for the oral exam. You just have you mainly have to know and have understood what you did in your project. That's the the, the, the focus. And at, at that point, you will get mostly. Uh, a good score from the from the discussion 
plus the score that you get from the project, you can do your math before. What we try to avoid is uh, um, losing too much time. Uh, we means also many days uh, for during the, the discussion. So the only thing that we don't accept is uh, uh, refusing the score after you come to the discussion. So if either you refuse before or you, you get the score that we give you. So that we, even for you, uh, if, if you're not so sure about the score, you can maybe start working on the second, uh, on the second assignment for the second exam. That will be published uh, uh, in the same days uh, at, um, as the, um, at the deadline of the first one. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, so, coming to practical question, uh, Roberto is asking if we if we reject the score, can we have a discussion about the correction? Yes, of course. Okay, uh, you, you, we can maybe with uh, with less priority than the others, but uh, uh, we'll, we are we are for for sure open to discuss the the, um, the reason of your scores. Okay, uh, we will not have time, unfortunately, to have. Uh, one-to-one uh, -one, say discussion about the topics that the, the errors before you um, you decide uh, before we do the error examination because otherwise uh, it will not uh, we will not have enough days between the first and the second day but of course uh, if uh, in any case uh, you are you have the right uh, of, uh, of, uh, of discussing with us what went wrong with the, with, the, with your project of course um, so at what hour uh, will the exam will be published uh, on GitHub? Uh, we hope uh, to do that in the morning so that uh, we have the full day uh, to work, but uh, this is what we hope to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for the GitHub accounts, yes, of course, you will use your own GitHub account uh, for, the, um, uh, for working. Uh, we are still deciding whether you can work in, on your own repository or in a repository that we create for you. Uh, in another course, I'm using uh, uh, the GitHub Classroom uh, feature that is able to create automatically repositories and give uh, private repositories and give the proper access to the students and to the instructors so that they can, they will work, they can see together the same repository. And that would be also useful for uh, for the submission of the final project. So, but we still haven't decided because we are there are some bugs in the system. Uh, we'll uh, we'll tell you whether we work on your repository or on the repository that we create for you. But uh, for sure, you will work with your own uh, GitHub account. Don't create any extra account just for the exam. About the second exam, there will be the same procedure. Yes. Uh, we will publish a text uh, on the 20 days before. So it was, uh, uh, if you say the 23rd, uh, I, I take your word, I, I don't remember the dates. Uh, and some days after, I don't know whether it's uh, 26 or not, uh, depends, uh, um, depends on your schedule basically. Uh, because right now we are sure that on Friday morning we have the, the, the hours of the course uh, and so you are free. But uh, uh, on that, and the end of June, it depends on, on the other exams that you have. So you will, we will find a moment, uh, some three or four days after the publication of the text, uh, for discussing. So the procedure will be the same in every, uh, in every exam, in every date. Uh, so that we, we think that it's, it's worth, uh, say, investing a couple of hours of discussion right up front, uh, so that we can better understand uh, uh, possible problems, uh, uh, rather than have. Uh, maybe problems towards the end and uh, the last week before the submission, okay? Uh, of course, we will continue to try to give uh, support uh, during the, the whole period uh, on, uh, on Slack. Uh, maybe we can create uh, some special channels uh, for each uh, exam date uh, so that we can uh, focus the questions on the exam on those channels and not uh, make too much confusion. Uh, and um, But uh, uh, there will be, mm, Basically, let's say I, I hope they will uh, be uh, lower and lower towards the end. So uh, we, let's let's try to push all the questions at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, ah, okay, uh, the chat is not allowed. Okay, sorry. 
I had a, a, a different setting because yesterday I had an exam, so I a simulation of an exam, and I disabled the public chat so that students could not uh, uh, talk to each other. And so right now you can write uh, uh, to everybody. Um, so, okay, so the question from Enrico Alberti was the, the same procedure, yes. Hmm? During the exam, we will have to use responders. No, 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 no. Um, you, you work on your own, and uh, before the 29, so until midnight of the 28th, uh, you can, you are free, okay? You do whatever you want. Before the midnight of the 28th, uh, you just have to push your work uh, to the repository that we agree. Hmm? So we, you either tell us which is the repository or we, we provide it with you. That's, that's a detail we are still working out from technical reasons. That's it, okay? Then when we do the oral discussion, will be just a chat like this. So a chat where we, uh, okay, uh, of course, see each other and uh, discuss and uh, share your, uh, your computer, okay? There's no need of any responders or other evil tools uh, that uh, in some other cases are needed because we don't we will be face to face okay so it's either work on your own for developing the project or face to face discussion responders is only needed when you need to do some work with a remote monitoring automatic monitoring that doesn't work most of the time so um, we decided not to do that So we will have a, a review, the review of your project. So we already know uh, your project and we'll discuss it by opening it uh, uh, on, uh, we, we still have to decide whether we open the project on, on my computer and we give access to you or vice versa. You will share your computer and uh, uh, we will uh, we'll see the code and maybe interact with you. Could we write comments in our code for the exam? Uh, yes, please. Uh, we are not asking for uh, extensive documentation. We are not asking for for uh, writing maybe a report of ten pages about about your uh, your project. We will ask for for a readme that gives us the basic instruction about how you structure the project, just to to get oriented easily in your code. Um, the the comments are welcome. Uh, first of all, for you, <laughs> because you can understand what you wrote, uh, and also for us, it will be very useful to understand better what you are doing. Yes, yes, why not? Uh, I I hope there are not uh, any my, any of my colleagues that will tell you that not to write any comments in the call because uh, it will be a very bad uh, suggestion. Um, the portal de Adiatica is a mobilitato computer. No, okay. Um, uh, we, I need to correct that. Uh, the issue is that uh, um, there was a bug in the portale that unless you say that you were, you were using the exam platform that brings response, responders uh, together with it, uh, you, you, you wouldn't see the date of the exam, okay? So in order to, for me to see the date of the exam, I had to uh, enable the, this, uh, this uh, exam platform, but mm, it's not, uh, it's not a, re a reliable information. It just means that the course is enabled to the platform. It doesn't mean that we will use the platform. Okay, so don't, 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 don't get scared about that. I, if, I, if I can correct it, I will, but I, I, don't, I don't think I can, because once the course is enabled, then it, it will stay enabled. You should... Uh, rely on, on the instruction that we gave you. Uh, one question you, might, you may ask, I'm asking that for you, is whether the, the last topic that we are explaining today, the hooks, will be uh, in the project or not, will be in the exam or not. And uh, thank you for the question. And uh, the answer is, uh, um, as you want, okay. So we 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 put it as the last uh, topic because it's uh, it's um, it's quite recent, uh, but it's very. Uh, I we see I we see that there's a very uh, quick and strong adoption 
of hooks uh, by many programmers because they're actually uh, nice and, and quick way of doing the, uh, but we are not enforcing that into you, okay? So if you want, if you like uh, that, uh, and uh, if you want to use them in your components, so you're free, otherwise everything you can do with hooks, you, you, you already know how to do that with functions and with components. So there's nothing new. There's just a new way of doing the same thing that we already know. So it's up to you. Uh, I don't want to set any, this is more general. I don't want to set uh, any specific uh, uh, constraint or rule how, uh, on how you organize your code. Do you want to use uh, a router? Yes, you can use it. You want to use uh, um, three APIs? Uh, fine, if you need to have six APIs, uh, you, you can implement them. So it's your project, okay? Um, there's not anything that we say, I, we prefer this over that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are you're free to implement uh, as long as, of course, you follow the, the, the guidelines uh, and you implement all the functionalities that are required. Uh, you are free to work uh, with your presence, preferences. So you prefer to have many little function components, go ahead with that. You prefer to have less components uh, and structure maybe as classes with, many, with a lot of methods and a lot of state, fine with that also, okay? So it's, uh, it's also part of, of the, the exam, uh, trying to structure um the, the application we are not uh, we will not be uh how to say very picky about the the graphics part okay so we will not be requiring the, a specific shadow of a, on a given uh, uh, checkbox or whatever no there were we had many little little or big problems uh, in the details uh, that maybe during the labs uh, were bro uh, were brought up uh, uh, the exam is not about uh, uh, let's say the ultimate knowledge of the CSS tricks uh, for doing something. Okay, so of course you have to do something reasonable, but uh, uh, don't uh, fix yourself on the details, hmm? mostly on the functionality and on the architecture of the application. Um, okay, okay, but I think that when you, when you read that the, what we require in the text and the discussion, this will be more clear. Uh, but basically there's not any solution that we prefer over another solution. It's your project, as long as it fits with the requirement, uh, we are okay with that. The way Alessandro is asking, the way we use the error handling in the lab the solutions is good for the exams. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of the uh, one of the many ways. So error handling is always a, a a problem because there may be different sources of errors at, at, at every corner. Okay, so we tried in the lab to provide some examples of a solution that should cover a general pattern where you are trying to. Uh, at least uh, not, uh, how to say that, uh, you have to avoid the two errors. One is just uh, spitting out exceptions, so that logging out exception and then uh, say ignoring the errors. And uh, the other uh, mistake would be just uh, silently eating the errors and doing nothing about that. So you know about the error, but you don't do anything. So these are two wrong uh, solutions. Uh, one of hiding the error and the other for letting the error just crash the application or, or uh, log error messages. Uh, in between, you have uh, many solutions, so you can be very conservative. So every, everything that uh, uh, on one, uh, I'll say on one extreme, you may, we may have one application that every time something goes wrong, uh, we'll just put a message, uh, please reload something went wrong and then stop everything. So not try to recover any error. 
or you can try to recover some kind of errors and to explain them to the user and then to retry the operation and let the user retry the operation. And, and so you will handle closer to the individual components. Of course, there are some errors that must be, must be handled. For example, when the user uh, tries to uh, insert a double, uh, some, some data which is already there or some data which is not valid, that must be handled because it's not a, a malfunction of the system, it's not a network problem or something like that. It's, a, it's part of the logic of the system, the, that data validation and feedback and so on. Some validation can be done uh, beforehand uh, in the front end uh, and some may need to go through the server because need to check some data so it will be more difficult because you ha have to analyze the answer so at least the errors let's say them let's call them that uh, are no, no part or the normal flow of interaction they must be handled okay uh, other errors uh, related to the connection to the database uh, network connection timeouts and so on okay let's, let's try to do something minimal uh, so that just uh, the application doesn't crash, but uh, it's not. We don't require to go deep onto those issues. So in the lab, what we we'll try to do is try to to take a, a narrow message or reason and try to transport it to the front end application where we can decide what to do with that. Mm -hmm. This is important. Not losing the, this information. Then how you deal with that depends. uh no the hooks will be published today so as long as soon as i close this chat uh, i will i start recording that so in um, for lunch time uh, hopefully is if anything uh, goes right uh, you will have the publication of the video is needed to book the exam before the publication of the text no not before that you of course need to book the exam uh, before the deadline uh, that's, that's normal and uh, actually we will uh, uh, we, okay we, we need the list of the people and then we'll check whether all the people that are booked for the exam actually submitted the work uh, we'll do a, a second filter on the 29 we see uh, how many projects have been submitted and, and we will check that uh, but we don't require it you, you can decide it until the last moment actually so we you can maybe try working on the project and then in the midware you decide you don't want to do that you want to go to the second date or study some other topic it's fine for us you don't need to commit right now whether you want to come to the first date or not so our only check will be on the 29 morning we see how many projects have been submitted and of course you should be you must be enrolled because otherwise we cannot record the score officially so until the last minute, uh, you can decide, okay, I, I'm not going to push that uh, to, to GitHub, and so I'm not going to, uh, to, to uh, enroll in this exam. Hmm. Uh, so React scores with router. Okay, I need to give me a second to open the. The repository. Uh, so I'll the web application. Scores. With router. App.js. Uh, Run the client. App.js. Line one six five. 
okay, you say if props.location state and prop location state is logged in. then logged in and so on. So you are asking uh, why we use location in this uh, uh, in this place. So location is a property. So we are, just remember, we are in the path equal to slash. So we are in the home page and, and, the, and everywhere. And we are taking the props. This is the component. Uh, let's go back the app component, okay, just to, okay. So actually, uh, blah, 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 we are going down 165, okay. Props with location dot state, uh, sorry, here. Is logged in. Okay, so we have two uh, two different uh, um, possibility here. Um, here we are, we already are, are logged in because the state uh, is already logged in. And so we are just, if you see that, uh, we set it, uh, if we are already logged in, we set it to true. And uh, if we are not logged in, uh, we are set it to false, okay? Uh, in this case, we are redefining logged in uh, only to set it to true, hmm? because this will never be false because we are uh, conditioning it here. So the logic here is, uh, um, then we'll come to the location variable. Um, the logic here is uh, if I already logged in, in the past, I already have it in the state and I remember it. If I, I wasn't logged in the past, but now uh, the location uh, tells me that uh, it's, um, it's currently logged, uh, we just completed the login uh, operation, then uh, we are setting this uh, uh, to true. And of course, you are rendering that. Uh, uh, the login component is on line 36, so it's related to this one. 36. Uh, so it's component did mount. Okay. So at the at the loading of the application, if I'm not logged in, I try to log in. Okay. So in, this is only executed if the application is not logged. Uh, and then uh, uh, get user information set state is logged in true. So this calls the the database, the backend, and trying to to log in to get the the um, the uh, inside the component login. Okay, he, uh, it tries to get the token, and if the token is valid, then it will set the state variable is logged in. Okay, so this is logged in is basically the same variable that we have down there that remembers everything. Uh, prop dot location. I don't remember because prop should uh, come from the um, the well, wait wait a second. Okay, because. Everything is received from above. Okay, so we are just using it here. We go into the login component. Hmm. So we are rendering the error message in the case of not logging. But sorry, I, I'm I'm confused as to who is invoking the app. 
because these props here uh, these props in the react should be passed by the component that calls the app so the location should be defined there i don't i'm getting lost So here we are, uh, read right to, oh, okay, 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 sorry. Um, what we are doing here is uh, to pass a state with the redirect uh, um, component, okay? So in redirect, uh, I, I think in the slides it was not uh, very well explained. Um, we are, of course, are redirecting to a given URL that will reload the application, but we can, uh, assign a new new information we can pass other information alongside with the redirect okay let's uh, let's uh, check the documentation yeah what he's saying here is that uh, uh, redirect We can also pass, you see, the two can be a string, it's a way, or an object. And this object will contain path name uh, for the same string of the location and the state component. Okay, uh, it's unfortunate that it is called state here. Uh, and so we can pass an object, other information while we are doing the redirect. So after the login, we not only just redirect to the home page of the application, but we are sending some information too. And this information, read here, can be accessed via props.location.state. Okay, so this proplocation.state in app.js, the location is a prop which is not set explicitly, but is being set by the redirect. Okay. So uh, in the previous page, in the previous component, I'm calling a redirect, I'm sending some information, and uh, uh, this will be available in the next one. So uh, you're right, the, 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 the source of everything is in login when we are issuing the redirect. And if we have, this is a local state of login, okay? Login success is something that login will evaluate. If uh, the locally I know that uh, the login is successful, I just need to redirect and tell to the app component, because I know that slash will go to the app component basically, tell to the app component that uh, uh, this variable is logged in, is true. Um, I would call it probably, if I want to be more clear, login successful, okay? And this will only be valid once, okay? At the first, uh, render after the redirect happens at the first render. So we are re-rendering everything and uh, the app will have some extra props because right now app is being called without any props. We saw that, that in index.js, uh, we are not setting any properties. But if we come from a redirect, we, it will have a props.location Okay, prop.location that will contain state, for example, which is, uh, uh, so that's what we are doing here. Uh, one, one, uh, one, five, six, one, six, five, yeah. We are saying, if props.location.state, so we are not sure we have been called by a redirect or not. So normally this will not, we, this will be undefined. Normally this property is not defined because we are not coming from a redirect with the state information. And so this will not be uh, executed. If this is not is defined and uh, the state that we just set uh, in, the, in the previous redirect is true, then we set to true our own variable that will decide, okay, what to do, how to render the application. Otherwise, we need to go to login because the user needs to login again. Okay, 
so it's a it's a way of passing information uh, from the redirect component to the application that we render again uh, of course uh, uh, this location is available everywhere because you are not redirecting to a specific component you are redirecting to a route to an address and then all the components will render on that uh, address and each of them will have access to, to this location field right now we are using that in the app in the top level but even in uh, in internal components they will uh, have access to this information mm -hmm. so this passed automatically by the redirect um, so this is logged in would have been uh, as just logged in in some way mm -hmm. and this is not really a state mm -hmm. that's why the naming is unfortunate uh, because it not has nothing to do with the state i'm calling it the the, the, okay, the the router calls it state, but it's not really permanent as the state variable. It's just valid for one. It's a sort of a, it's more a property than a state. Hmm? They call it in this way, which is a bit confusing, in my opinion. This is one way of doing that, of passing information alongside with the redirect, if this information is needed only once, like in this case. Another possibility would be, uh, sorry, here in the, in the login component, to set the state of the application. So just storing, uh, right now we have some, some uh, local state, but we, we could also have some callbacks for setting the state. So we could also, uh, in before doing the redirect, uh, set some state uh, um, above uh, in, in the app directory, so uh, normally. And so when the application will re-render, it will find that its state has been changed because the logged in became true. Okay, right now logged in, the state logging in app is only managed by by the app itself, the logged in state uh, is here. Uh, it's only managed by the component itself. We could have passed a prop to login by saying, okay, this is a method for setting to true. So the end result will be more or less the same, where the uh, the rendering of the of the of the of the application. Here we are again here. The render application would depend on the local state. So the bad local state would have been set by the uh, by the login component instead of just passing the information. It depends on whether you want to give access to your state to your components or you want just them to rely some information to you and then you act on that information. Yeah, the set state of logging is basically just here at the beginning in the component mount. So we are managing ourselves, it's ourselves. Okay, any other questions?
concerning, uh, there's nothing I can do much about, but just to understand, uh, do you have any other exams that are more or less in conflict with the dates uh, of this one? Do you have more, are you more free in the first uh, half uh, or in the second half? So maybe you have other exams that are, uh, make you, make it hard for you to work on the project in the first date or in the second date because it will also affect all. We cannot change the dates, of course, but at least if we know what are your other issues, which we can try maybe avoid putting some chats or some deadlines in the wrong place. I know that the calendar is particularly bad this semester. No issues about the dates. Okay, it's uh, it's equally bad enough in in the, in the two dates. Same condition, okay. Concerning the, the planning, just because maybe some of you are also planning to do something else rather than the exams, we have the, the second exam in, um, in the, on the 13th and uh, we expect it to be able to finish uh, all the oral discussion by the 24, 25 of July. Okay, so that uh, on the last week of July, we don't, don't expect to, we, we hope we can finish everything in these two weeks, from the 13th to the 24. Uh, of course, you, uh, there's, you will have we will have three or four days of blackout. Okay, after you, you you have the exam deadline, in three or four days we need to check all the projects and then give you the scores. In these three or four days, uh, you have to wait basically, and then we will start uh, during the discussion, doing the discussions. And when we start the discussion, we'll try to uh, to pack as many people as possible. Maybe we can also go in parallel because we are in the two courses. We are we are four teachers in total, and so we can go uh, a bit on parallel. Okay, we will have also some flexibility about the dates of the of the discussion. We can switch uh, if we have other dates. If it's the second half of the week of the deadline, no, uh, no. I would say, for example, the uh, let me just study the, the calendar so the the then is the, the 29 so we think that we are we will publish the scores by the two or three of july if we are lucky if there are not so too many projects and so the 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 discussion will start only on the on the next uh, on the next week on the sixth most likely but even if we start before, we'll, uh, as, you, as you said, uh, we try to have a bit of flexibility so that you say, okay, but you have these other exams, I can, I can I switch. Uh, for us, it's okay, of course, if, if you switch your, your position with other guys.
uh, Enrico, I, I, our oral exams will begin a week after the exam date. Uh, I, I'm not in a position of giving you uh, exact numbers right now, okay? Because I don't know how many people will submit the project and uh, uh, how much time actually we will need uh, to, to do all the evaluations because it's uh, the first time we issue the course and the first time we uh, do the exams in this way. So, uh, but we, I expect that at least three or four days for us will be needed to evaluate maybe 60 projects or something like that. I, I checked this morning, there were already something like 50, 50 people that are enrolled. So if all of them will, uh, will submit uh, or then uh, we need the three or four days and then we need to publish the results uh, and give you some time to react uh, and to decide whether you accept uh, to come to the oral test or not and then we can go uh, to, the, to the calendar. So uh, I, it's very, I, I don't, I can say anything sure but I think it's unlikely that we can start the oral in the same week. Maybe we can start for the beginning of the of the next one. Except if there are some some needs, maybe we can we can accommodate for that. But what what, what scares me more than the oral is the time needed to evaluate all the projects in a consistent way, uh, which will be a full time for a few days. For the oral. Um, you just have to set aside uh, half an hour, 30 minutes, okay? Uh, you don't have to study anything extra for the oral. So all the work is before, okay? The oral discussion is just you throw them a bit to, to remember what you did in your project, but then that, that's it, okay? Uh, what do you suggest as uh, another question for approaching the exams? Start with that JavaScript and then change things as we did in the lab or start with the design architecture? Oh, no, I would start uh, in with the knowledge that we have today, okay? So from the, from the new project, uh, I will start by starting, uh, but okay, we already know everything, everything, let's say. The, the things that we decided to, to, to fit into this course about React uh, and let's start to plan the architectural information with the React uh, uh, guidelines and the architecture, so the components, the routers, the states, uh, and so on. Uh, the, all the exercises that we did in JavaScript in the first part of the course uh, are so that uh, um, we, 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 we are more proficient, more uh, let's say effective in writing JavaScript code and understanding what we are doing. But I don't suggest starting from, 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 uh, from pre-React code in order to structure the application. Uh, the React website uh, suggests you to first uh, start with uh, um, the mock-up of the pages. So I, uh, in, in the first step should be, okay, let's lay out maybe in a piece of paper, what are the pages of our website? How we move uh, from page to page? So or maybe the routing information. Uh, and uh, what are the components of, on each of these pages? And then you start designing the components and deciding where the state is located. Start by thinking and designing in React directly. You can also use, if you want, some libraries. So for example, we use the, also in the exercises, we use the React Bootstrap for, uh, for the ease of integration of the components. Uh, of course, it's, uh, it's allowed to do, you can do that. Uh, if you find some useful library, don't spend too much time in searching for, for hundreds of different libraries because it will only make your project more complex. But uh, if there's something that uh, is useful, it can be used. So we are not forcing you to write the code in a specific way. Enrico is asking whether preparing some notes about the project for your exam is allowed or is considered cheating. Um, so you mean having some notes about your projects available to you during the discussion? Uh, okay, this is one of the questions I I would like to discuss with the, with Enrico Masola to have um, 
uh, a response which is aligned, but uh, I don't see uh, anything wrong about you having a short memo or a short, uh, say, architecture diagram of your application that will help you to navigate through your code. Um, of course, there should not be uh, a way of uh, using other people's code. Okay, uh, with all the freedom that I discussed before, uh, so that you can choose your framework, your uh, way of uh, creating the components, uh, uh, the way of structuring the pages, and so on. It's uh, impossible, okay, that you can copy code from another, another person. Um, because uh, all these projects, uh, they will be 50, maybe they will all be different. Okay, so uh, in that case, if you need some, some, some short information to, to remember what you did, uh, you can do that uh, as part of the documentation probably also. As long as the exam takes, uh, because on July 13, Kuba uh, is writing me, uh, I have an exam at 8 and at 11. No, 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 no. On the third, July 13, there will be no exam. Uh, the 13 is the, the deadline for submission. And uh, uh, yes, the deadline for submission. And so that you have to work until the 12. So for the second date, uh, the date is on July 13, means that you have to submit the work until the midline, midnight of the 12th of July, okay? On the 13th, you don't have to do anything. We will work <laughs> by checking all the projects. We're starting to check all the projects, okay? So you can work on your own, organize as, as you want, as long as you finish by the 12th, and then you will have the oral discussion Maybe the, the the at the end of the week or the beginning or the beginning of the next week, but at that point we can be flexible with the schedule. Okay. Uh, Marco, will there be a new example with other topics to understand better how to move with router hooks and logging? Uh, we uh, we have discussed a bit whether to put another example, another full example. Um, we are not so sure because uh, in uh, in three days we will publish the text of the exam basically. So I think that all the focus for all of you will be uh, on the exam itself. And I don't want to have an example we just uh, create for you, uh, drive you towards uh, copying how we did things in the example because maybe it doesn't fit uh, with the exam. So I don't think it's, it's the right moment uh, uh, to, to pull out of the head and another example. Because from, from Tuesday, you will all be, be thinking about how to organize the exam. And so having a, another exercise is something. Uh, we, are, we have been a bit, uh, probably it should have, uh, if we knew that at the beginning, maybe we should have uh, taken two or three examples, uh, not just the, the, the scores and the, um, and the to-do list uh, to 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 develop uh, during the course, mm -hmm. but at this stage I don't think that's uh, that's useful so much. So well, well, we have, I, I, not not a complex uh, example at least. So probably we are not doing that. Yeah, we already have 52 people for the first date, so it will take some days.
Enrico is asking, in general, in September, the rules of the exams should be the same as these. Uh, who knows? Um, well, I, I would not change the rules in general. Uh, so we'll still have projects in this way, okay? We, don't know, we are not uh, doing some exams in a way, some exams in a, in a different way, because we have been preparing in a way, and uh, with some, and uh, also people are being evaluated with some scores. Uh, and we don't change the rules uh, in the middle of the year. So I would say that in September and also in February, January next year, which is still part of this academic year, we'll still work with this model of uh, a project to, to be developed in 20 days. Okay. Uh, then the practical issues, whether we do the, um, you know, the, the exam in online or we can go in, in the lab, uh, of course, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm hearing uh, very different voices. Okay, so people saying that will, they will open all the university and other people, they will say that the university will be closed. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't understand anything in this moment because uh, in sometimes it was clearer what we wanted to do, but now I, I think there could be a possibility of doing uh, some exams uh, at the Polytechnico in September. But for the moment, uh, there's nothing written down, so we cannot plan for anything. But the, mod the modality of the exam, uh, which is 99% the of the work, which is you working on your project, uh, will be the same. The only difference will be the oral, the oral discussion and maybe some some helps or some the say question and answering session that we can do maybe at the polytechnic or not you i know you just received a questionnaire from the rector asking whether you want to go uh, to the polytechnic next year or you want to follow online and it's really strange uh, for me, this kind of question, because in the last week, you just say that uh, the lectures cannot be done in, in presence, but only the laboratories or the exercises and so on. So uh, I think that in this moment, we nobody understands what is happening. Mm. From the formal point of view, I think that nothing has been decided in writing for the September exams. So everything that has been decided, and we have the, our own regulations, uh, are for July, June and July. Okay, for September, we are still waiting. Uh, uh, it will be. It would be much better if we can do some exams uh, at the Polytechnico because right now most of the critical dates uh, uh, that uh, this, cal this exam calendar is terrible. Uh, also because there's a limit on how much, how many people can use Respondus at a time, how many people can use uh, the virtual classroom at a time. So they needed to move a lot of uh, big exams uh, in order not to uh, go over these limits. And if at least a good part of the exams could be done in the classroom, that would be much easier to schedule. But uh, we will see. Uh, of course, what is sure, and because this has been written and promised in, uh, in many ways, in all the ways, uh, is that if someone is not able or willing come to the Polytechnico, we will provide the exam and the teaching, of course, online. So this is for sure. So what we are talking is for, if there is the possibility for who wants and come, and can, sorry, and can come uh, to do that. We don't know whether it's possible or not, but it will always be possible to work online on the exam for the next year.
are there other issues? Okay, so I think we can close the session and uh, we will meet uh, next Friday uh, for discussing with a specific topic of discussing the, the exam that will be published uh, on Tuesday. So probably there will be a larger number of people uh, next week because the topic is more uh, strict is more important uh, and uh, so that at the end of the of the next week uh, so the, when, when the uh, when the, the lecture finish we will have also the document uh, with the clarifications about the exam rules uh, and you can start uh, working uh, freely in the next two weeks mm -hmm. okay so i don't see any any further requests so i thank you for being here with me today in this last uh, video chat of the semester and uh, goodbye to everybody and see you next week <laughs>